Uh, exciting Monday. Uh, it was different playing on the Monday, but we're in our three game of the week stretched and we have been blessed to be able to play the number one and I think they're the number three or five team in the country. Uh, in our next two bouts, finish the last pod three and one. So we have a record of four and oh, three and one, three and one. Um, and that's why we're at 20 wins. So really feel good about that. And uh, just excited about the opportunity to play LSU and South Carolina. Uh, hopefully we have enough energy to finish out strong with South Carolina. Uh, Monday was a fast paced game. <laughs> and so yesterday we did nothing but film prep. Today we'll get on the floor a bit, but it's February. Like you either know it or you don't by now. So. Not really pressed. We're just going to go out and compete. Looking at film, but just kind of watching LSU from afar the past mm -hmm. season and a half since Kim Mulkey got there. Yeah. What have you seen that she's done? Because the impact was kind of immediate when she got there. What yeah. have you seen in that turnaround for them? Well, I, I just think that uh, Coach Mulkey just um, makes you believe you could fly. Like, all of our players think they're the best in the country. And, um, and that, in my opinion, is a good thing. So, because a lot of times in women's basketball, it starts with belief. And so all of our players believe. Uh, they go around like, like that. And she's always been that way. She's always, uh, they've, they've kind of taken on her persona, um, whether they've earned it or not. Like she's earned it, you know? But just like being around her, she kind of like just lets them be free and believe what they want. And so. Uh, I think that's something that people don't talk about enough. It's just the ability to make players believe in themselves. To the super team mm -hmm. part of it, you know, you've got veterans and Maddie and Angel and then bringing in Maya, who's been in these big game yeah. situations a lot in her career. Having a kind of a committee of senior experience, does that kind of help kind of keep the, keep, keep the peace these next, the rest of this week with what y'all have coming up? Well, I can tell you this. Uh, our group has, we're like, a, we, we have to learn by experience. So, for example, you know, our first overtime game we lost um, when we played Auburn. And then we went into overtime versus Arkansas and we won. Uh, first time in a ruckus environment, you know, we kind of got shook up the next time we played better. First time uh, with a team ahead of us, we didn't get off the bus in Knoxville. I expect us to get off the bus in Baton Rouge. And so uh, this whole group has been learning, but they have shown to always learn after they have maybe had shortcomings, uh, just as much as they've learned when things have gone well for us. So, um, you know, that's what I'm leaning on. Uh, the experience, yes, but the experience of my whole team. Talked a lot post-game Monday about program building and, yeah. you know, what 20, min 20 wins means for that. How important are measuring stick games like the next two you're going to play in terms of program? Yeah, I think it's great. You know, here here's the thing. Like I told you all before, I know she looks young, but uh, Kim Mulkey has been doing it a long time. And so has Coach Staley. They've both been coaching a long time. I'm the young Thundercat in the group, you know, when it comes to them. You know, I'm 40 years old and – and uh, this is year five for me. So I, I'm i excited about the opportunity. I mean, that's why I wanted to come to the SEC, to go up against legendary coaches like Coach Mulkey and uh, Coach Staley. And so it doesn't get any better than this unless we were going to play UConn or Stanford, and we're not playing them. So we're going to play these two. And so it's a measuring stick for me. Um, it has been going up against Coach Staley every year. I think we've gotten better and better. Um, and then uh, Coach Mulkey, last year we lost by four here. And so they have a brand new team, and so do we. You know, I think our two teams, what's interesting, have the newest amount of players. <laughs> they have nine, and I think we have nine. She just happened to get uh, an All-American in there, <laughs> in Angel Reese. And then she, she has Alexis uh, and, ha and then did a great job getting some really good pieces. So uh, it's a measuring stick for our team as well, too. I thought we had a good one versus Utah. I think Utah is top five in the country. And who knows what would have happened if the game didn't end the way that it did. And then Oklahoma's up there, too. So we've been having measuring sticks all about. But now we get to see 
what it's like to go up against a top five program in February. You know, I think Utah's top five, but we played them in November, and it was an incredible game. Like at the end, had whether we won or lost, I had already made up my mind with two minutes left. Like this was a classic. You know, it was that good. So I'm hoping that we do right for women's basketball on Thursday with the same type of output. You mentioned Angel Reese. What's the key to stopping her, especially on the boards and I guess mm -hmm. the entire team on the rebounding side? I don't know that you can stop her. I don't know that you can stop good players. Like, uh, good players stop themselves. Like, <laughs> uh, we're going to just try to guard her and Alexis Morris. That's like saying, like, how do you stop Angel Baker? Like, you just don't stop them. They're, they're good players, and they figure out a way. Uh, so what we have to do is try to not let her have her best game ever, you know. Uh, her average, we can handle her average. Uh, but what we can't handle is her average, Alexis's average, and the rest of the starting five's <laughs> average. That's when the game can get out of hand. So I don't know that we're going to pay that much of attention on putting our whole emphasis on trying to stop her, per se. We, we just want to defend, and y'all know we do that. And so we, we want to play defense, and we, we want our, – our rule is uh, no threes, no layups, tough twos only. Um, but she, she presents an awesome task for us because she's just relentless on the glass. So we have to do our best to try to minimize that.